1996, I co-founded my first tech company, Ayers, in Hanover, New Hampshire, which ultimately employed 75 people, went on to be acquired by ADP. But the largest organization I ran had 120 employees. It was funded entirely by debt. In, uh, when I was 26, I bought the franchise rights for Ben & Jerry's in New Hampshire. I opened stores in Hanover, Lebanon, Keene, and North Conway. It was funded entirely by millions of dollars worth of debt. I was a predatory borrower. The banks were predatory lenders. It blew up. I lost everything. I owed IRS a million dollars. It took me three years. I talked them down to $20,000. We settled that debt. And uh, I want to take exception real quick to uh, Joe's characterization of Lincoln Chafee two years before Lincoln voted against the war in Iraq. He voted for Public Law 107-40. You can look it up. Joe Biden, Bernie Sanders voted for it as well. That is the law that allows the person who happens to be president to wage permanent, arbitrary, global war in every, and I'm quoting now from the law, against every nation, organization, and person. And that is the law that Barack Obama used to justify the assassination of four American citizens, including a 16-year-old from Denver. And that is the law the Reverend Pence cited last week on Twitter as justification for assassinating a high-ranking Iranian official. As president, I will sign the Rome Statute, and that will bring an end to this shit. Woo! Thank you, Mr. Whitney. The next question, we will start 